First place, local zombies, six man. I drew against Spellbox in 2020. What a damn shame. So, I played three Shinori Solitaire, standard in every, in every zombie deck. Uh, it's a starter. You sack it and bring this guy out, which he helps you dump from your hand and from your and from your deck. Uh, next, we run two Gozuki. He's kind of like a, another starter, kind of like Uni Zombie, except he only dumps from the deck to the graveyard. That's why I only really want two. His second effect, when he when he goes to the graveyard, is pretty useful sometimes. Uh, just banish another zombie in your graveyard and bring out a big a big dude from your hand. Uh, then for the for the zombie engine, you run I run two Necro Banshee, run three. It's a little too it's a little too cloggy, but you know. I believe the term is bricky. Bricky, cloggy. Building house. Get it right. Whatever it is. <laughs> Clunky. Big <laughs> So run two of these. It's it's great against other decks such as Thunder Dragon. You know, you just bring zombie zombie rolled out and you just shot him out completely. Dinos. <laughs> you run two glow bloom. Uh, once again, you uh, run three is too bricky, so two. Two is the ideal number. If it goes to the graveyard, you banish it and add a level five or higher zombie. But if you have zombie rolled out, you can just special summon the creature. And for the for the big man himself, two Baladrock. Uh, he's the main bo boss of the deck. It's pretty busted. Especially if your opponent doesn't know exactly what they're doing. Uh, if a zombie monster activates, you can either banish uh, a monster near the player's graveyard or field non-targeting or negate that zombie's effect. If you have zombie rolled out, everything just triggers it. Uh, for extenders, I run two Mizuki. Uh, you know, Mizuki's Mizuki. Uh, if you need them, you will just banish them out of the graveyard and bring something back out. Uh, most of the time, I see myself cutting out one when sighting. Uh, Hela, she's great, especially because of her quick effect. If I have her and Baladrock out, I can just trigger her effect and then and then trigger Baladrock's effect during my opponent's turn whenever I want. Uh, like Mizuki, I, I tend to cut her out when sighting. It's a hit or miss. Uh, then for my danger package, two Nessie, two Jackalope, two Suchinoko, one Bigfoot, one Thunderbird, and one Mothman. They're mainly there just to make a board presence and to uh, get my zombies out of the hand in order to start my combos off. For ham traps, I run three Ash Blossom. Uh, she's great in every format, really, ever since she was printed. Um, she's also a zombie, so if I have Ballad Rock out at 9 and and I activate it against my opponent, I can trigger off Ballad Rock. To Effect Veiler, honestly, this is probably the weakest card out of my deck. I need to cut it out. I forgot to cut it out today. But, you know, I got Scrub. lucky. Screw. And my last hand trap, Vampire Fraulein. She's amazing. She's great. She triggers all Baladrock. It makes Baladrock or any other zombie just a uh, big beat stick. So, you know, opponents don't see it coming and it can just cause OTKs. All for the spells, the, the main card of the deck, uh, Zombie World. <laughs> Make everything to zombies. Shuts down Thunder, shuts down Draco, shuts down several decks. It's pretty great. <laughs> it's a pretty great card. It works, synergizes with the deck, and it synergizes with the next card. Super Poly. Uh, make everything to zombies. I just make the the zombie fusion monster. Good times. Uh, two instant fusion. If I'm going second, I usually make Dazzle Eyes Restrict or Millennium Eyes Restrict, depending on who I'm playing, or what I'm playing against in the, in the situation. Uh, so you know, pick your poison. If you it sets a hand trap, you bring out Millennium Ice, or if you need to get rid of a monster, you bring out uh, Thousand Ice. One, one for one, uh, just turbo out uh, Glow Bloom, and th uh, get rid of a zombie in hand. And for my last spell, Foolish Burial, just dump any zombie. On to the extra deck. I run the Millennium Eyes and also run the Thousand Nice Restrict. Uh, you know, I just explained them. They're, they're pretty good cards with Instant Fusion. <coughs> also, because they were Fusion Summon with Instant Fusion, you can bring them back uh, with Vampire, no, not Vampire Cycle, with Mizuki out of the graveyard. Uh, Dragon Stapalia, uh, Super Poly Target, Starving Venom. And then the other Super Poly Target, the MVP of the extra deck. Aside from Vampire Sucker, 
you just turn every single creature uh, my opponent controls into zombies with zombie world and they're just super polling away for this thing. And then my last super poly target, Predal Plan, Trifle Vertum. Uh, playing against a big board, link, uh, fuse it away, and just negate any inherent summon they have. Links, Link Karibo, just to send off Glow Bloom, start my combos off. The main bad bitch of the deck, Vampire Sucky Suck. She's great, allows me to draw, keeps my card advantage up. Triggers off Balladrock, at the best card of the deck, honestly. In the extra. Nightmare Phoenix, blow up anything you need, get rid of a zombie. Unicorn, get, ri get rid of a problematic card, also get rid of a uh, zombie in hand. Black Luster Soldier, uh, complete shuts down Draco and Sky Striker. Um, you can easily make it with the dangers, so it's, it's just an instant win card against it. Bo uh, bore load in case I can't get I can't get rid of something. Just take just take it and bore sword for the OTKs. Uh, since this is my locals, we have a uh, certain cards against uh, other decks. Two drone lock mainly for heroes. I wonder why. We, we, I, I've lost a hero so many times already, <laughs> mainly because they keep opening Twin Twisters. <laughs> Speaking of which, three Twin Twisters for all those back row decks, or like uh, Jalgen Turbo over there. System Downs, uh, Cyber Dragons or Orcas. Three I mainly just see Cyber Dragons. Ragek and Dark Hole, because people want to play Pachycephalo and uh, Jalgen. Uh, and Vanity Sphine! Yeah, and Vanity Sphine mained in the heroes. I think it's top that's another that beast. Mm. Three evenly matched. Uh, they make a big board or they run a lot of tra uh, back row. You just get rid of everything. And then two rivalry of warlords. Uh, honestly, I didn't see myself signing it in that much in locals, but against other decks, you just completely shut them out with Zombie World in this combined. And that's it for my first place six man locals. <laughs> Yeah. Subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, join the notification squad. And this video was not brought to you.